for Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food, because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best. Q Radio. Q Radio. Welcome with me, Sharon Jennings. Coming up, I discover if there's any truth in the story that's been doing the social media rounds, claiming that an animal died from being fed ice cubes. But firstly, we all want to ensure our pets do have a safe and enjoyable summer. And joining me is Caroline Elliott, who's head nurse with the PDSA. You're very welcome, Caroline. So Caroline, what should we do to protect our furry friends during what I hope is going to be a scorcher of a summer? Well, it's very important in this hot weather to obviously keep our furry friends nice and cool. They can't tell us when they're feeling too hot or uncomfortable in their wee fur coat. So it's important for us as their owners to ensure that they remain happy and healthy in the heat. So there's a few top tips that we can go through. Never leave your pets in cars or conservatories or caravans. Even if you think it's only for a little while, on a, even on a cloudy day with windows open, temperatures can soar dangerously high in just a few minutes, which can cause heat stroke. If your pet does get too hot, wrap them in a cool, damp towel, changing it regularly with a fresh, damp one. Things to look out for if you are concerned about your animal is signs of heat stroke which can start with excessive panting and progress to fatal collapse. So it's very important to keep a sharp eye and prepare to contact your nearest vet immediately. Always have that number handy. Also as well, if you've got an animal that lives outdoors or in a hutch, it's also very important to make sure that there are the areas that they can sit in. Indoor cages should always be kept away from light soaring through a window, which can also uh, help to avoid long periods of direct sunlight. Also as well, with it being the barbecue season, owners must ensure that your pets stay safe whilst in the garden. Remember not to give in to those little puppy dog eyes where you're eating and avoid the animals getting the scraps, because obviously that can upset your animal's stomach. Along with the food, be mindful of drinks. Alcohol can be particularly hazardous for pets and glass bottles or cups can be easily knocked over and smashed which can cause cut paws and all sorts of problems so it's always worthwhile just be aware of the barbecue season as well and caroline for me personally i think we can't underestimate having their coats cut in the summer because my dog was starting to pant quite a lot and i cut his hair right right back and it's completely gone so it really had a huge impact on how he was experiencing the heat absolutely i mean giving your pets for a bit of a trim at the start of the summer is a great way to, to aid the cooling process for the animals but especially those dogs with big thick hairy coats it's definitely advisable to trim it all back and always make sure that you've got fresh clean water check any bottles or bowls at least once a day because obviously the hotter it is the more your animal's going to drink Caroline thank you very much that's head nurse Caroline Elliott from the PDSA The Q Radio Pets Corner with Brandy Dog Food a story doing the rounds in social media recently claims that a pet owner put ice in their dog's water bowl to cool them down with fatal results and joining me to discuss whether this is possible is Mark McCracken from Grove Vets in Ballymena you're very welcome Mark So Mark, this story that's been on social media, it's apparently a woman fed her dog ice cubes in his water bowl and then she had to rush him to emergency vet because he then developed this condition called bloat. I know you know the proper name for it. It's it's gastric dilatation and volvulus. I'm glad you said that. There's also then been a lot of other people responding saying this is not possible. So from a veterinary point of view, what would you say? I think this story is really trying to establish a link between dogs drinking iced water and developing this very severe condition, GDV or gastric dilatation and volvulus. A GDV is a, a very acute, very life-threatening condition which tends to affect large breed deep-chested dogs, so dogs like Great Danes and German Shepherd dogs and Newfoundlands. And what happens is that their stomach fills up with air or fluid and then it flips around on its axis and then that blocks the stomach. So these dogs get really acutely ill very quickly and their abdomen will become very distended and they'll be vomiting often unproductively so they're they're retching but not actually bringing anything up. There are some well-recognized risk factors for dogs developing GDV and the most common one is dogs that have a a big meal, perhaps a single meal during the day, and then go out and are exercising or running about afterwards. And that's the single biggest predisposing factor for dogs developing GDV. Dogs that also drink a large volume of water could be predisposed to to GDV. I think in this case, it was probably a reflection that the dog had drunk a volume of water that brought on the GDV, rather than the fact that the water happened to contain ice. Ice is non-toxic, it's simply frozen water. I suppose some dogs on eating ice cubes it could cause their their stomach muscles to cramp and it might make them vomit but if you're in the habit of giving your dog the odd ice cube or perhaps a homemade lolly of frozen water to cool them down that's fine as long as the dog's used to that 
and it hasn't made them vomit in the past. Because I got very frightened, Mark, because I make homemade lollies for my dog, you know, and I give them to him in summer when he gets a bit overheated, and he absolutely loves them. So it's a relief to hear that that is not really dangerous for him. No, it's really not, Sharon. There's no scientific evidence really linking ice cubes and VDV in, in dogs. That's great that you cleared that up, Mark, and I think we can put this down to one of those urban myths. Thank you. That's Mark McCracken from Grow Vets in Ballymena. Thank you, Mark. And next time we'll be letting you know where the best pet-friendly places to visit are in Northern Ireland. The Q Radio Pets Corner. With Brandy Dog Food. Because they're 100% family. You know you're giving them the best.